Welcome folks. Uh, today it's more about spark plugs. Uh, today's episode will be centering on uh, how to read uh, gap growth and uh, deposits and it'll be a really good indication as to how your engine's functioning, how it's burning the fuel. Let's, uh, let's be admitted whether it's uh, through fuel injection or uh, the older ones with carburation. Okay, what you see before you here is uh, out of your typical uh, Chevy V8 or V6 uh, this one uh, could be in, in either, uh, whether it's carbureted or uh, fuel injected. Uh, this is a good example to start with because it's a brand new plug. It's never been installed in anything here. Um, you can see nice white porcelain here. And uh, the ground strap or the outer electrode is nice and shiny and new with some plating on it. Center electrode in there is nice and shiny and new. Um, basically, when you start out with uh, learning about this, is to to learn to read the colors and uh, what the the spark plug is actually doing and what I have for you today is uh, a bunch of samples I dug up from a few years back to give you an indication of uh, some of the things to look for as far as a, a good uh, a good burning engine the way it burns the fuel and one that's having some problems uh, could be derived from carburation fuel injection meaning the fuel that's admitted to the engine is causing the problem could be oil control meaning that uh, there's oil getting uh, up past the oil control rings on the pistons or else down through some uh, worn valve guides where the valves go up and down and uh, also it could be valve guide seals. So let's, uh, let's start with uh, probably one that would uh, indicate a good burning engine especially when it comes to carburation. Uh, here's a really good example of what I like to see when uh, when I'm doing any plug changes. I'll take the old plugs out and then I'll uh, actually show you one more thing before I forget. Um, what I do is when I take plugs out, I usually get a piece of tape. In this case, it's a piece of masking tape and, and mark which numbered cylinder it comes out of. That way I can go back later and identify, I've saved one, one plug out of the set has a problem, then I know which cylinder is uh, giving me the headache, so to speak. Okay, on this one, you'll see kind of a, a medium tan color, if you will almost heading to a darker tan color. Where I like to see this is on the outer part of the uh, on the outer electrode here and as well as coated on the inner porcelain. Um, that's an indication to me that my carburetor is jetted right and everything's to be functioning well. Your air cleaner has to be clean. If you have a dirty air cleaner chances are that plug will be much uh, darker even black in color. And what you see down inside is a lack of deposits that are filling up this gap that's around the center electrode. It's nice and open in there. Uh, some plugs you'll find they get a lot of stuff growing in there whether it's uh, from oil too rich a mixture with the fuel or whatever but also this ring around outside where the threads are that thread into the cylinder head. That's fairly clean there. There's some black here. This is out of a, a carbureted vehicle so that's actually really good because uh, especially in the, the colder weather you have snow on the ground uh, engines are really cold and they need a, lot, a really rich mixture uh, to keep them going while they're cold so this is an indication to me that that's the kind of plug I want to see especially out of a carbureted vehicle now there's chances are um, with the new fuel, in, fuel injected vehicles you'll get a plug that probably looks almost like this one here this one is a, a platinum tipped one uh, you might see that in the newer vehicles. Center that one up. Actually, I'll use my hand device here to steady things up. But in the newer vehicles, they'll they'll burn a lot cleaner. Maybe not pure white. Maybe in a gray color or whatever. The thing to look out for if you have a really lean burning engine that's designed for lean burning is to watch this growth in here. Especially um, with these types, the uh, platinum probably won't be burning down that quick. But the outer electrode not sure if that one's platinum or just a plain plated steel but watch the gap growth in there also the way your engines running if it's hesitating and bucking back and forth that's an indication that you might be running a bit too lean now getting back to some of the uh, the readings here's a plug here is a good example of kind of on the border um, it uh, it's got that classic uh, tan color, but you can see it's starting to head into the almost a white ash color there. It's kind of a gray, 
but it's still got the bit of tan there, so it's almost acceptable. I'd say you're starting to run a bit on the lean side when you start getting, um, especially with a carbureted vehicle, you start heading into gray, and it's a sign to start watching out for things. Uh, if it's if the car is not overheating, if it's running well and everything, um, it's something to watch out for. You start seeing this gray color here. To me, that's a warning sign. That means, for me, I would actually uh, probably maybe rejet the carburetor or else if it needed a rebuild or whatever. I would definitely uh, start looking at that. That's a warning sign to me anyway. I like to see that nice brown color I showed you with the first plug. And here's um, another example of that one. It's starting to get leaner still. You can see on the uh, the electrode tip there, it's actually turning uh, a grayish almost into a white. I'm not really sure how these colors are going to show up on your uh, TV or monitor at home, but uh, or even your smartphone for that matter. But anyways, what I've got in front of me is it's like a, a, a white ash color. It's uh, a little bit gray. That would definitely tell me that it's uh, it's heading for a bit too lean, especially with a carbureted vehicle. Like I say, with the newer fuel-injected ones, they probably do burn lean anyways when they're running properly. Uh, like I say, the thing is, when you start getting a bit too lean out, I've noticed, you get into this grayish color and lighter, almost approaching uh, white colors, you'll see an excessive uh, g uh, gap growth, and it happens way too quick. Uh, the old school standard was uh, gap growth in a standard plug like this would be about one thousandth of an inch for one thousand miles that the vehicle traveled. So if you see erosion happening in here at a faster rate than that, that's an indication your engine's running too hot and or too lean. Okay, then those are the ones where we're heading from normal to lean. Now here's one example of uh, a plug that could be drenched in oil, maybe a combination of fuel as well. Running rich, you'll, you'll see around the rim here, especially with a carbureted vehicle, you do tend to get a bit of buildup. But this is wet and oily, so it almost looks to me as though that it was an oil burning engine that it came out of. And you'll notice deposits everywhere except on the uh, the outer electrode here. You can see it's actually quite dark in color. It's a really dark brown. Um, not quite black, but it's, it's a very dark brown. That shows me that it's running too cool, or there's uh, some excessive fuel and a combination of perhaps oil in there as well. Um, the thing you can do is, is put it on your finger and rub it around like you can see see there it's still kind of wet. Fuel should have evaporated by now so I would almost say that that would probably be oil burning. And again you don't want your plugs to start filling up with deposits in, in the, uh, the clearance between the inner electrode porcelain and the inside of the outer shell. You start to have problems with misfiring and uh, just the hesitation, the thing just doesn't run right. Another indication is it could be a weak uh, point in the ignition system, uh, depending on what kind of an ignition system you got. Could be plug wires malfunctioning or worn out. And there's a lot, of, a lot of things with these plugs. It's just, uh, it's just to get you scratching your head to try to do some troubleshooting. Um, in an extreme case, I have. Uh, well, actually, I'll save that for last. These ones, I have three spark plugs here. They're out of a late 70s uh, 400 cubic inch uh, Chevy small block uh, engine. And uh, these were the original plugs that were in that engine from the factory. You can see there's still some blue paint on there. i got to get this thing centered. I've got the close-up going on here, so bear with me. Um, so you can see there, it's still got the blue paint on it. That's from the factory. They would probably would have had these plugs installed in the engine when they painted it. That nice blue color that Chevy used back in the day. So anyways, you can see these are the first plugs that came out. I'm, I imagine they had 12,000 miles or more, but uh, you can see they're pretty messed up in there. You know, it's something you don't want to really leave in your engine. Like a lot of cases, you wouldn't even notice that until the engine started acting up, in which case this was the case. It's, it would uh, start up fine, but as soon as you got going, it would start to miss and the highway speeds would start to hesitate. But you can see it's it's probably the right heat range and the right plug for the engine. It's got what I like to see is that medium tan color, but the only problem is it's only on the outer electrode. All inside there is kind of messed up. And this one here, a little bit better, although the uh, 
the inner electrode there is, is seen it's seen better days but that's that's that color I keep mentioning and uh, something for carbureted vehicles that I really like to see especially on performance ones uh, you never want to run too lean on any engine uh, unless it was designed to run that lean you start overheating and uh, ruining pistons and burning valves uh, something to watch out for I'd sooner have a rich running engine all coated with carbon and black than I would uh, to see one that's uh, approaching uh, gray to white start overheating it costs you a lot of money and parts whereas one running too rich you can usually cure it and you know put new plugs and stuff in and get it going again okay now for the grand finale of this video here's the one like I say I tagged uh, some of the plugs this one is number six cylinder out of that 400 cubic inch small block I was going through about uh, oh a quart of oil every 500 miles um, on the freeway highway and uh, if you can see in here how much deposit there was left in here and this was the plug that was giving me the the biggest headache uh, you can see by the color there my this has been in storage for quite a while it might be a bit of uh, calcium or something but it almost looks as though the spark plug was arcing from here to there at one point now anything that I've ever learned in the past is some deposits are most if that's the case they can become conductive so the spark will want to jump uh, at the easiest point for it to jump and in this case it doesn't really look like it it looked like this on the end of the outer electrode it was an insulator and it was trying to jump this this far there so I'll spin that around for you you can see there's we got a good color in there there's nothing wrong with the uh, the temperature range that it was going but my suspicion is that for some reason that cylinder was burning oil they do say also with uh, some additives and gasoline uh, depending on which year we're talking about um, they actually could uh, do some uh, deposit uh, excess deposit uh, showing on these plug readings um, you can see here the thing is is almost solid with deposits there I mean this is the this is the best example I've got for for all of us to see and uh, that's only you know the first plugs that was in a brand new engine and that's just an indication to me because the other plugs never did that in the set of eight that this had an oil control problem I'm, I'm sure of it or the only that's the only thing I can come up with if it was fuel they would all have more of that but this is the only one in the set of eight that did, that did that so as you can see there when you take your plugs out of your engine you don't know what you're gonna see until you actually take them out and have a look or have your mechanic or somebody that knows a bit about uh, these things some experience on hand and uh, there's all kinds of things you'll, you'll, you'll run into um, where's a good example of it I think this was the one yeah right in there you can see the way this one uh, on the center electrode there I was, I was trying to figure out which one it was but if you you can look closely enough in there in the center electrode they're supposed to be uh, flat like sparks apparently that kind of oops excuse me um, sparks they like to jump off of a square edge uh, the old timers what they used to do to save some money instead of uh, putting in new plugs or you could do it yourself as long as you didn't have any residue of filings or grindings left on it you don't want that running around in your engine but uh, that center electrode they would bend the outer electrode as much as they you know just all, as much as they needed to to get a a points file a points file is a hardened little file it's it's similar in some ways to a a lady's uh, nail file and they would run that back and forth to square up the edge on the center electrode and you could also do a little bit of uh, clean up on the inside of the outer electrode and then reset the gap on it and good to go as long as there wasn't too many deposits in there like the cleaner the plug the better there's no question but you can see here what happened in that 12,000 or so miles that center electrode has actually been burning eroded away on an angle it's trying to find a way to uh, to ground to create the spark and it was just jumping all over wherever it could to find uh, a place to make the spark like I say a clean plug is uh, you can't beat them clean new and fresh that's the way to go so there you have it folks there's my best example of a, a plug that shouldn't be in your engine. Uh, take them out once in a while and have a look. Uh, say, uh, that's, a, that's one for the trophy case for sure. Alright, hope you enjoyed it. 
Take care and have yourself a nice day. Bye for now.